Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about MySQL constraints. So, what is a constraint? What exactly the use of MySQL constraints we'll see, and what are different types of constraints? First of all, so what is a constraint? Basically, we can define these constraints at two levels. That is, we can define this at a column level and a table level. So, MySQL constraints is used to define rules to allow or restrict the values can be stored in the columns. So, we can restrict the type of values that can be stored on columns. So the purpose of including these constraints is to define some rules over columns and tables. MySQL constraints are used to limit the type of data that can be inserted into a table. And these constraints we can specify in two levels. That is, one is column level, one more is table level. When it comes to column level, column level constraints can apply only to one column whereas table level constraints are applied to the entire table so let us think that we have a table in the table we have five columns okay for each and every field we can specify the constraints so see here what are different types of constraints are there one program in practically you will understand first one is not null second one is unique third one is check so i am talking about most def most important thing regularly that we use default the most important one is primary key and this last one is foreign key now some index something different types of things are there i'm talking the important one First one, not null. In MySQL, whenever you define a column that with a not null constraint, so it won't allow any null values. That is, the column cannot contain any null value. This we can use as the part of whenever we are creating the table and whenever we are altering a table. So whenever we define a column as not null, compulsory that should be contain some value whenever we are trying to insert null values immediately we are going to get sql exception we will see practically one by one next one unique so whenever we define a column with a unique constraint it doesn't allow any duplicate values that is when we are trying to insert some values if that column is unique it won't allow any duplicates. It should be what? It should contain unique values. When we are trying to insert any duplicate values, immediately we will get an exception when we run that SQL query. So whenever we define unique, null is allowed. Null value we can specify. Next one, check. So by using this check constraint, it controls the values that is associated with the column. So the check constraint determines whether the value is valid or not uh, from a logical expression. Next one, primary key. So whenever we define a column as a primary key, it won't allow any duplicates. Even it won't allow null values as well. When we are trying to define null values, immediately we'll get a, I mean, when we run that program, when we execute that query, we are going to get a SQL exception. So, what is the difference between unique and primary key? See here, unique won't allow duplicates. Primary key also won't allow duplicates. But unique allows what? Null value. But whereas primary key won't allow any null values. So, in every table, compulsory one column must and should be declared as a primary key. Okay. Next one. One more is foreign key. So, by using this foreign key, we can link up between the tables. So a foreign key in MySQL creates a link between two tables by one specific column of both tables. So whenever we want to use this foreign key, 
So there should be a common column between one two tables that is like parent table and child table. Okay, and we have different different things of are there. We'll see at the time of DML DDL kind of operations. So these are about constraints in MySQL. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day.